Hey guys, Brett from Imperial Workshop here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your saber. First thing you're going to want to do for most tilts, to access the SD card, all you need to do is twist off the handle of the hilt. After you do that, you're going to see the SD cards right here. The first thing that you need to do before touching the SD card is remove the battery. Now you can push out right here. Get the battery out a little bit and give it a quick tap. So we get the battery out most of the time, but make sure that you take the battery out before touching the SD card. If you take the SD card out while the battery is still in the saber, it could corrupt the SD card. So now the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take the SD card out of the saber. And you're gonna put it into your micro SD card reader. So now that you've gotten your SD card out of your Saber, you're going to put the micro SD card reader into your computer, and it should show up under uh, this PC, Devices and Drives. So when you open up the drive, I have mine on USB drive D. You're going to see all these files here. These folders here are your fonts. Uh, this set folder here is the folder we're going to be working with today. On our forms page, you're going to see two files uploaded. One of them is going to be this set folder. Um, so that's the first one you're going to want to download. After you download the set folder, what you're going to do is you're going to delete the set folder that's currently on the SD card. And once this is complete, you're going to drag the set folder that you just downloaded onto your SD card replacing the old set folder. Once this is complete, you're going to eject. Make sure to do this, you're going to eject your USB drive D. Uh, if you do not do this step, you might corrupt your SD card when taking it out of the computer, and that could cause you some issues. So now that you follow those steps on your computer, you're going to take the SD card that you just updated the set file on and put it into your saver. You want to make sure when you do this, you do not have the battery inside of the saber. Uh, this could cause an issue when putting the SD card in. And then you put your battery in. So your saber is going to say upgrade start, upgrade success. Um, you're then going to pop the battery back out. And remove the SD card. All right, we're going to put the SD card back into our SD card reader. And we're going to move back over to the computer. So now that you've put your SD card back into your computer, uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is just delete all of the files on your SD card right now. And you're going to want to go and download that Xenopixel v2.0 file that we'll have up on the forms page. And then you're going to highlight the contents of this folder and drag this into the SD card. Now this is going to take a minute to transfer onto the SD card. One thing you want to make sure that you don't do, uh, do not drag this folder onto the SD card. Make sure that you open up this folder and highlight the contents of the folder and then drag that onto the SD card. Otherwise your saver will say SD card error and it will not work. So we'll be back when this is done uploading. So now that the files have transferred over you can check out our new config file which should be in the set folder. Um, so just look right here right under config old check out the config file. In here you can see the new changes that you can make on your saber. In this new and improved config file we have our power on time in milliseconds and our power off time in milliseconds as well as uh, the pre-on times for the different pre-ons. You can change those. So uh, 1.4 seconds, 2.5 seconds, uh, about 1.9 seconds. You can go through these and play around with them, adjust them however you like. 
Here you have your channel volume max. You have your mixer volume max. Please do not set this value over 4,500. Um, setting it to over 4,500 may damage your speaker. Just like before, you can change your clash sensitivity. Uh, you can adjust the gesture controls. You can change your twist sensitivity. And checking out some of the other added features here, you can see that our um, color lines are now different, our font lines. So associated with font one, now you have the RGB values right here, but then you also have your light effect as the first number. You have your ignition speed turning the saber on and your retraction speed when turning the saber off. These are in milliseconds, so this is an ignition speed of uh, about 0.2 seconds, and this is about 0.8 seconds. And then you have this number on the end, which acts as it did before. It is the style of each font. So you have your standard blade, blaster blade, ghost blade, as well as a few other blade styles that we have recently added, such as the velocity blade, the torch blade, and two new special prions. Also added in this update, we have a new light effect, the unstable blade 2, which is assigned to number value 6. After making any changes to this config file that you would like, come in here and click save. Um, I'm just going to leave this as default for right now and not change anything. We're going to exit out of the config file, uh, go back into this PC, and we are going to eject the USB drive. After this is done and it is safe to remove the hardware, remove the USB drive from the computer, and we're going to go and put the SD card back into your saber. So now that you've installed the Xenopixel V 2.0 file onto your SD card, you're going to take your SD card and put it back into your saber one last time. Make sure that it's firmly in there. You're going to take your battery, put it into your saber. And you'll be able to tell that the upgrade was successful if you turn your saber on. Powering on. You can hear our new voice lines. Powering down. Okay, so the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to put the handle back onto your saber. Twist it together. And you should be good to go. If you guys have any questions, uh... Leave a comment in the description of the video, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you guys for watching.